Marocco! Ça l'a fait là-bas! Mon nom est Lélé! Et moi, je suis fait! Hey, what's going on for fish today? To me, um, Polyfest is like uh, my way of reclaiming my culture. I'm um, living in New Zealand, being born in New Zealand, and being children of diaspora. <laughs> oh my gosh, that was long. Cole Scanlan is the name. Cole Scanlan. Oh, thank what's you. your name? Oh, my name is um, Amelia Totakai. Oh, yeah. The whole alphabet in there, eh? Yeah. This year we're doing Polyfest a little different. Check out these Polyfest vibes from these school students around Auckland. They didn't make it on stage, but they made it on screen. So keep it fresh! Polyfest is showcasing your culture to others who don't really know much about it because we do live our culture throughout like every day. We like even though we don't perform this year, that doesn't make us less Tongan or less Samoan or any other culture. We still express that culture through our daily lives. To me, um, Polyfest is like uh, my way of reclaiming my culture. Um, living in New Zealand, being born in New Zealand and being children of diaspora, um, that's basically the whole goal for Polyfest is to reclaim the pieces, you know, the sivas and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, it's just reconnecting with the land without being inside the land. So. Polyfest is special for us, especially at our school, because a lot of people don't really know where they come from. We get to come to Polyfest, we get to learn everything about not only where we come from, but hikanga, stories of our ancestors, and it all comes together with beautiful performance. <laughs> about our Fijian group is that we've never had a Fijian group before. It was an honor and a privilege to finally have a group that represents our culture. But this is like our time to show everyone where we are from and just represent our, you know, our roots. The freshest thing was um, island time, mate. For practice, you know, that was probably the freshest thing. Um, the freshest thing about our school is we're just the coolest.
Our first move is called the Dicky, and it goes like this. The freshest action for me was probably doing the oppo. Oh, yeah. So everyone on point with this move. And then full. Please don't go anywhere, I'll come back after the break for some more poly freshness. Dust bowl full so keep the fresh! I get really excited and do this little happy dance <laughs> when I see people wearing my jewellery. So you come here often or? No, that's my first time here. Yeah, same, same. I can't even afford the food. Oh, don't worry, I got I thought, you. Oh yeah, that's good. You could put me on the plate. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Emmeline Saulu and this is Jewelry by Emmeline. So I got into jewelry when I was 12 as my mum always knew that I had a passion for little knickknacks, fixing up jewelry, fixing up little board games that weren't running well. So she enrolled me into courses in Arangi. I was only 12 at the time but I enjoyed because I could create my own stuff. I think the first thing I ever made was a uh, sterling silver ring, just a normal wedding band. And then from there, I started creating with pearls as my grandmother was a pearl lover. Manahiki is where the black pearl, Cook Islands black pearls are from. So you could probably stand in the middle of the island and you could see the ocean on both sides. Um, it's 18 months to grow a pearl. And to this day, it is an art and an art form for Manahiki to culture Cook Island pearls. What I love about the Black Pearl is they come in all different shapes and sizes, from quiches to round, semi-rounds, to semi-baroque, they're all different, and you can't get a pearl the same. So this piece was one of the first pieces I created. I've got the twist as in symbolising the family, and I have three pearls representing my siblings. So these ones are black cord um, bracelets that I hand weave myself. So these are one of the most popular ones that I have. So these ones, I call them my U-rings. Yeah, so these ones are pretty popular. And then we also have, I call them the crossover. 
Um, so my plan is to open up a small little shop in the future, just something small, casual, affordable as well for a lot of people as of um, myself. I could never afford pro jewellery so I thought I might as well get into the business and trying to help, help people with affordable jewellery. I get really excited and do this little happy dance <laughs> when I see people wearing my jewellery. Hello, love everybody. My name is Tony Vai Vai, and today I am going to show you how to dodge a flying jandal. Are you sick and tired of getting sucker smacked by your mum's flying jandal? Smith works it away for Nonu. Gets another one, kick in, and so Hey, baby, I love you. No, a photo. Okay. Did you get it? <laughs> That's just one of my many poses. <laughs> Well, hopefully today, I can show you a few tips that'll make the flying jandal a thing of the past. Firstly, get fit. Your average mum is a wonderful machine, able to throw up to 10 pairs of jandals under a minute. So up your cardio and eat more green. Ah. Have an exit strategy, because when your mum's jandal's in full flight mode, you only have milliseconds to react. Don't hide under the bed. They have no exits and no protection. And she might find the happy box. Mine is Princess of the Pea. Why are you always talking on the phone, now? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> always talking, talking. Like talking to these tackles. Heavy sofas and walls are, are good. We're even better. Hide behind baby Jesus. Oh, no, 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 not my Jesus. Not my Jesus. Please, please, come on. Remember to leave all your doors and windows unlocked for a good getaway. <laughs> and that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you dodge a flying jandal. Follow those simple steps and you will survive. I'm Tony Vai Vai, signing over and under. <laughs> Take you on the date. Do you have any kids? Yeah, I got two. Oh, you have two? Just two, though. I said, make sure the kids' uh, mums are still alive. Uh, and, and their mum's still alive? Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's very well and healthy, oh, really wow. fit. So, so what would happen if we get married? Like, what's going to happen to her? Maybe, like, um, we can just, like, do a transaction. We can transfer the kids to you. Last week, we sent Amelia on a fresh date. Oh, you're someone. Oh, like sick of my best Amelia's day. first date was with Tony, where they struggled to find common ground. Dwayne Johnson! He's actually my uncle. Oh, you kind of look alike, like your beards are the same. Thank you, and my hair. And your hair? Yes. <laughs> Not the rest of your face. And so the first date fizzled out. But her fresh date journey isn't over yet. There's one more date to go. This is Cole Scanlon, a 27-year-old property developer. He's looking for someone who understands his sense of humour and can keep up with his busy lifestyle. Has Amelia finally met her match? And will the elders approve? Let's find out. 
Oh Hello. my gosh, that was long. Cole Scanlan is the name. Cole Scanlan. Oh, thank What's you. your name? Oh, my name is um, Amelia Tutakai. Oh. Yeah. Got the whole alphabet in there, eh? Yeah. So you come here often, or? No, this is my first time here. Yeah, same, same. I can't even afford the food. Oh, don't worry, I got I thought, you. Oh, yeah, that's good. You could put me on the plate. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> don't touch my head, son. Oh. Yeah. Oh, it's like a baby's bottom. Yeah. Oh, Can I touch, touch your beard? Touch Oh, yeah. oh it's <laughs> hard. Like, it's oh. rough. Do not touch it. Yeah. You're uh, not allowed. Yeah. You know yeah. the tongue yeah. and way. Yeah. Sorry. Disrespectful. Oh, tongue and yeah. way. Uh, so, oh. Yeah, say be, say be. Yeah, uh, don't touch each other. Okay. Are we not in touch anymore? Yeah, we can't touch. Maybe we can hold this knife together. Okay. Feel the vibrations. No, 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 no. Oh, no. Let it go. Let it go. All you do, look, <coughs> you look okay. on his eyes, look and he him. look Looks on your him. eyes, OK? And talk nicely. OK, Amelia? Yeah. Just look me Am in I the allowed? eyes. Look you in the eyes, OK? Yeah. By the way, you're looking towards him, <laughs> yeah. you make no that he's the one or not. It's OK. Yeah. Say, so, sorry, there's something in my eye. Oh, yeah. That's you. Oh, <laughs> you're funny. <laughs> Can you ask him any house to live in? No. Oh, uh, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a landlord as well. Oh, yeah, you're so a landlord. So I own a few wow. properties. Yeah, wow. Yeah. Oh, yes, that's what no. we want, no. yes. I've got a girlfriend. Single, Are you single? Hopefully, not after the state. Make sure that he have any kids at all. Do you have any kids? Yeah, I got two. Oh, you have two? Just two, though. I said, make sure the kids' uh, mums are still alive. Um, and, and their mum's still alive? Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's very well and healthy, oh, really wow. fit. OK. Always going for runs. So, so what would happen if we get married? Like, what's going to happen to her? Maybe, like, um, we can just, like, do a transaction. We can transfer the kids to you. No yeah. way. Maybe? No way to me. Nah, Amelia, nah. can you ask him to live right now? Kids before? No, no. Yeah. No, no. Say thank you for coming. So thank wait. you for coming, though. Thank Don't you. come back Thank anymore. you so much. To... That's okay. Don't you. come back. Come back. Don't. So... Oh. Do you... And your head is And well don't from touch. Him. <laughs> Take oh. your head as well from yeah. him. Um, have a good day. Don't worry, there's lots of fish in the sea. Yeah. You might find another one. Yeah. What be someone around the corner? Amelia, are you all okay? I'm not all good. I'm sad. You know the way you should do? Prayer in the morning, prayer in the evening, prayer in the night, see? Then you will get the, like the right kids, one, like, see? Like kids singing, mm, say a little prayer for Jesus. The right person right. for you, you know? I don't want to be able to do it. I don't want to be Home ownership is not a good reason for marriage. OK, Amelia. Keep 
Kia ora e my name is Te Kohei Tuhaka and this is Rob Mokaraka and we are from the show The, the Dead Lands. Next week we're going to tell you all about the show. What do you want? Oh, not me. And you know we've got the fresh bunnies. <laughs> Ate Rawiki. 